If your Amazon Fire TV's home screen is not loading, everything is blank or grayed out, and it says home screen is currently unavailable and nothing loads, then here's how you get everything to load properly on your Fire TV's home screen with some simple steps. The first thing that you should check if the home screen is not loading is whether your Fire TV is connected to the internet properly. As you can see, it also states here that a network error has occurred. So you can just go to network settings right from here and make sure the Wi-Fi that you're connected to has internet. If it shows no internet or it's connected but home screen is still not loading, then you can try disconnecting or forgetting the network by pressing the menu button while it's highlighted, then press select and after that, connect back to it and see if that works. If it doesn't, then you can also try a different Wi-Fi or a mobile hotspot. If your TV is able to load home screen with a different network, then you should troubleshoot your network first. For example, you can try restarting your router. But if the home screen fails to load with any network, then this can also happen if your Amazon Fire TV has wrong date or time. So to check that, just go to settings, then preferences, time zone, then open the time zone list and make sure you have selected the correct time zone. Now your Fire TV should be able to load the home screen properly. If the home screen is still blank, then a very effective troubleshooting will be cold booting both your Fire TV and your router. You just need to unplug them from power, then wait for 3-5 to five minutes before turning them back on. And after the cold boot, your Fire TV should be able to load everything properly. Till no luck, then there's two other things that you can try. First off, if you can access your profile, then you can go to profile settings, then select your Amazon account, and then press the register to log out of your Amazon account, after which you'll need to log back in. If this wasn't enough either, then you can also try resetting your Amazon Fire TV to factory default settings, or hard resetting it. To do that, just open device and software and select Reset to Factory Defaults. In case you are unable to access even the settings page, then you can also reset your Fire TV from Safe Mode or Recovery Menu. If it comes to this and you want help, then you can watch our short video on how to enter Safe Mode on your Fire TV and reset it. But I'm pretty confident that you won't have to reset your TV and the previous troubleshooting will fix it. So let us know how it went down below, and if you found this helpful, you can drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more.